Hello everyone, this is Stephen Clark, back again. Hope you're all doing well. Another light-hearted look at the latest news in and around Thailand. So today we go to South Korea where they're eating boiled dog meat. They stage a counter-rally defending their right to consume their delicacy during protests by animal rights activists including Kim Basinger. The new tourist and sports minister has made the setting of safety standards to regain the confidence of foreign tourists his priority. Well, let's see what's that, eh? Another dreaded look at the TM30 form that everybody's panicking about when there's no panic, it's always it's always been there. We'll have a light out look at that at the end. But first up, we'll take a trip down to Phuket, where the PM has asked Phuket inhabitants to stop ripping off the tourists. It's giving Thailand a bad name. The Thai PM tells Phuket people to stop ripping off the tourists. Well, everyone's having their say about a van charging two Australian tourists 3,000 Thai baht for a trip from Phuket International Airport to Kuda. Even the Thai PM put in his bed. The PM took time out today to issue a warning to the Phuket people that its reputation as a tourist destination will suffer if local people keep ripping off the tourists. A spokesman says the Thai Prime Minister was made aware of the formal police complaint filed by two Australian tourists that a passenger van driver charged them 3,000 Thai baht which is 1,500 baht each for the 47 kilometer ride to their hotel in Kuda. A spokesman said, if people persist in taking unfair advantages of foreigners visiting, it would have a negative impact on the Thai people and Phuket. The costs are well signed as tourists merge out of the airport or they can catch a metered taxi. There's signs everywhere with the prices. Now, the distance from Phuket International Airport to Kuda area is about 47 kilometers, which should easily cost around 800 to 1,000 Thai baht. Media journey could be a little less depending on the time of the day and the traffic. Advertised prices at the airport say the maximum price for a private minibus from the airport to Kuta or Karen is 1,600 baht. Other advertised services at the airport say you can catch a minibus with other passengers for 200 baht to Kuta and Karen. Now a taxi from the airport has a rate set at around 1,000 Thai baht. This two is 500 baht each. Well that's what the two Australians should have paid but they didn't, did they? Welcome to the land of smiles. Now will we look at a strange habit. Hot dogs made with real dogs in South Korea. Oh my God. South Koreans eat boiled dog meat as they stage counter rally defending their right to consume the delicacy during protests by animal rights activists including Kim Basinger. South Korean dog farmers are boiling dog meat as they stage a counter rally during an animal protest. The fiery demonstration on the country's Dog Meat Day took place outside the National Assembly, the National Legislative Body. The dog farmers wearing red bandanas emblazed with Fight and Unite in Korean appear to taunt activists by eating dog meat outside the building. Oh, you got to be kidding. Meanwhile, actress Kim Basinger was among the animal cruelty campaigners and holding models of dead dogs. Basinger, who protested last year outside the South Korean consulate in Los Angeles, called on the assembly to end the cruelty on this planet. While the killing of dogs for meat is illegal, it is not illegal to consume dog meat. And this legal grey area was readily exploited by the 20 or so dog farmers. Okay, that's enough of that story. The new tourist and sports minister has made the setting of safety standards to regain the confidence of foreign tourists is priority. That would be fantastic if he could do that. New appointed tourism and sports minister, Kipat Ratsakit Prakan, said, ensuring the safety of the tourists is his most urgent task. Kipat said on July the 18th, Thailand needs to give tourists the confidence to visit the country. The minister will also talk to the finance minister and, of course, the Bank of Thailand about reducing the strength of the baht, the Thai baht, which has made touring Thailand more expensive for foreigners, which is uh, quite true. So policies such as visa on arrival fees, wave your will be considered right after the Prime Minister delivers his policy statement to the House, which would be a great idea. He vowed the incoming administration would do its utmost to make all feel welcome. But he stressed 
that all policies depended on the view of the Prime Minister. This included any special steps to encourage visitors from China, which provide the highest number of tourists. Poi Pat was quoted, Personally, I think our country is one of the world's top destinations and I will try to invite tourists from outside with strong economies to visit Thailand, he said. Peapat told reporters on Monday he took the ministerial portfolio after his wife, a candidate, was disqualified, banned from politics for five years after court ruled that she failed to disclose some assets and debt six years ago. Well, 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 isn't that interesting? Okay, grab your partner and let's do the TM30 dance. Let's go. Get it. Come on, girl. Once again, the TM30 dance. Yay. Grab you yourself a TM30 form. TM30 form. Yes, the TM30 form, one of the many attractions of Thailand. If you sleep somewhere else, you must fill in this form with full details. Yes, full details of every move you make. So what did you guys think of this video? There's some very interesting subjects in there. It'd be great to get a discussion going in the comments below. And don't forget every Saturday and Sunday night, 5 p.m. Thai time, Talk Back Thailand. Anyhow, that's it from me. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you very soon.